Hello and welcome to New Frontiers on CCTV International. I'm Ji Xiangjun in Beijing. And today we're beginning a brand new series all about a village beside the Yellow River called Jiahu and the archaeological finds made there. Had you been looking for some wine and sound 9,000 years ago, Jiahu could well have been the perfect place to go. You see, back in the 1980s, archaeologists working in the Jiahu area turned up some bum flutes. They also found some dregs of an alcoholic drink, showing that China's Neolithic people may have been the first in the world to make wine. The bone flutes were just part of a whole trove of artistic treasures unearthed at the Jiahu site. Among the other fascinating items found there were turtle carvings, stone tools, and pottery. This tranquil expanse of marshland, located 1.5 kilometers southwest of the town of Bei Wudu in Henan province, is called Jiahu. Jiahu village was established in the early years of the Ming dynasty by migrants. Their descendants have lived here in seclusion ever since. It's almost as if they have been guarding a secret long forgotten by the outside world. In August of 1975, heavy rains fell in the middle and lower reaches of the Yellow River. Flood gauges up and down the river tracked the rising waters and finally indicated that the water had risen to a critical level. A number of reservoirs overflowed their dams and the floodwaters buried the railroad trunk line. They also inundated a large area to the west, including Jiahu village. Construction of the Beijing Guangzhou Railroad in 1955, Jiahu Village, just 30 kilometers from the railroad line, became part of a flood detention basin. Every time the Yellow River overflowed its banks, Jiahu Village would be flooded and the homes and fields devastated. To solve this problem once and for all, the village head called everyone together for a meeting, and it was decided that they would build a three meter high dike around the village. The village was surrounded on three sides by cultivated fields, the east side, with wasteland. To build the dike, the villagers took soil from the east side. At the same time, they dug a water diversion channel in the wasteland area. As they did so, they had no idea that with every shovel full of dirt they removed, they were getting a little closer to uncovering an astonishing mystery. But just as that point was about to be reached, the village head announced that they had enough dirt for the dikes, and everyone stopped digging. As a result, a secret that was almost discovered in that year, 1955, remained hidden under a thin layer of soil to be uncovered at some later time. In the summer of 1962, an archaeologist at the Wuyang County Cultural Palace by the name of Zhu Zhe was wrongly denounced as a rightist. He was sent to the countryside to work. As it happened, the place he was sent to was Jiahu village. One day, he happened to be working in a field on the east side of the village when he noticed some fragments of pottery sticking out of the ground. And the fragments were dark red and they had a simple primitive quality. Jules' professional training enabled him to immediately recognize that these were probably fragments of ancient artifacts.
Over the following few days, he found a small number of bone fragments as well as fragments of red baked clay. Red baked clay is clay that has been baked until it has become as hard as earthenware and takes on the color of red bricks. It is often found in the ruins of the dwellings of primitive tribal peoples. What Jewel had found led him to conclude that the fragments could well be the remains of an ancient village. But he had too little physical evidence upon which to base any conclusion, and he didn't have the equipment needed to examine the artifacts properly. He was unable to ascertain how large the village had been, what era it belonged to, or how long ago it was inhabited. And, of course, as a supposed rightist sense of the countryside, his situation was precarious. There was nothing he could do but bury the secret in his heart and not tell anyone about it until he had left the village. However, Jewel never forgot what he had seen at Jiahu village. Moreover, his archaeological intuition told him that an extraordinary secret buried beneath the wasteland would one day be revealed. Jiahu village lies on the western edge of the marshland that borders the Beijing-Guangzhou Railroad. In the 16 years after the railroad was built, floodwaters were discharged into the marshlands more than 30 times. Each time, changes took place to the surface of the land. When the eastern dike protecting Jiahu village was damaged in the massive flood of 1975, the state provided the village with assistance so that the dike could be strengthened and repaired. On a clear day in the winter of 1978, Jia Jiangor took his elementary school class to do some work on the water diversion channel. When a student reported he had struck something hard with his shovel, Jia swept away the thin layer of dirt with his hands and revealed a rectangular rock. He noticed that one side of the rock had been ground down to produce a knife-like edge. As it happened, Jia had an interest in archaeology. He thought it possible that what he was looking at was the blade of a shovel used by primitive tribesmen who had lived in the area in the remote past. Jia felt his heart skip a beat. He immediately instructed his students to dig in the surrounding area and sure enough, they soon uncovered a number of fragments of stone tools and earthenware vessels including a relatively intact earthenware pot. Jia wondered if this really was an ancient artifact. What should he do with the finds? Jia remembered that an acquaintance from his hometown was the director of the Wuyan County Cultural Palace. That acquaintance was none other than Zhu Zhu, the man who had spent two years in the village in the 1960s. My Xiang 而且这个史称啊,这个史夫之类的东西 was overcome with excitement at the sight of the articles Jia Jianguo had brought Finally, it seemed a full-scale excavation of the Jiahu village site might go ahead when he saw the articles that Jia brought with him, Zhu was excited. He never imagined that the ruins at Jiahu village which had haunted his dreams would finally come to light, and come to light so soon. However, the cultural center where he worked was run down and he didn't have the equipment he needed to examine the articles properly. Although he was quite experienced, he wouldn't be able to make an immediate judgment about the age of the artifacts. He knew, however, that the earthenware pot would be very helpful in this regard.
pottery objects were the first type of artifact created by humankind by changing the physical and chemical properties of natural materials to produce something that does not exist in nature. As such, pottery played an important role in the lives of ancient peoples, and it thus carries an abundance of social information. With no written records from the Neolithic age for archaeologists to draw upon, pottery artifacts provide an invaluable basis for distinguishing the different ages of man and understanding a society's level of development. In 1965, a Paleolithic age site dating to around 15,000 years ago was discovered in Lingjiang, Xuchang Prefecture, Henan, just 40 kilometers north of Jiahu village. A large number of exquisite chipped stone artifacts and bone needles were discovered at the site, but no pottery was found. Archaeologists have since determined that the Lingjiang site dates from the late period of the Paleolithic age. The stone shovels unearthed at Jiahu village were ground stone implements. Pottery was also found at the site. These two were important indications that the site dated to the Neolithic Age. Zhuzhe ruled out the possibility that it was a Paleolithic Age site. As an experienced archaeologist, Zhuzhe knew that Jiahu was in an archaeologically sensitive area. During the Neolithic Age, many cultures appeared in the middle and lower reaches of the Yellow River. It is known, for example, that human beings lived in this area during the Ali Tol culture period 3,500 to 3,800 years ago. This was roughly the area dominated by Longshan culture 4,000 years ago. This was roughly the area dominated by Yang Xiao culture over 4,000 years ago. Jiahu village is located where these three areas meet. By 1979, ruins of all three of these cultures had been discovered in and around Jiahu village. Which of the three cultures did Jiahu culture belong to? In 1959, 